Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Trello tutorial, we are going to understand about the boards in Trello workspaces. So previously we have understood about the free sign up of the Trello account, then creating the workspaces and you can see two of the workspaces that have been created, which is RCV Android team and RCV iOS team. Now these workspaces you can think of as the teams and within these teams, there could be multiple projects, right? So the boards can be correlated related with the projects that are within the particular team. So team can have just single board or they can have multiple boards. So say for example, I'll go to this RCV iOS team and if I go to the workspace here, I can click directly from here and it will redirect me to this page of the RCV iOS team. And this is the private team. So it is only available for the people who are invited to view or join this particular team. Now board is something which is you can consider is a project that is within this particular team, right? So let's quickly understand creation of the first board and then the workflow within the board. Okay, so to create a board, either click on this plus sign or click on this create a board. Okay, so if you click on create a board or the plus sign it will ask you for the board title and then there is a option for changing the team directly from here so because we want to create it in the our iOS team we'll just keep it as is and then this is workspace visible right so all members of this team workspace iOS team workspace can see and edit this board okay if you do not want this then you can keep it private wherein only board members can see and edit this board okay so i'll keep it as workspace level but if you want to change it say for example this board is very specific to the particular project within the ios team okay then you can keep it private and then based on the invitation people will be able to access that particular board if it is a public then anyone can see who has the url okay i'll keep it as workspace visible and then i'll just say first board okay as a title and then i'll click on create board okay and here in the right hand side there are some of the backgrounds that are available so if you just want to change the backgrounds you can change the backgrounds accordingly i will simply keep it as just a plain background and then create a board there are many useful templates available within trello that you can directly use to create the boards i'll cover that later but as of now let's create a first empty board so click on create board and as soon as i'll create the board you will see that the first board has been created and you will see to do doing and done columns being added now this this call these columns here are nothing but you can think of it as a workflow of that particular project that will be utilizing this particular board okay so say for example let's let's change it for uh, instead of the first board i will say ios documentation project okay something like that right so there is say for example there is a documentation work that needs to be done for the ios project then there is a team for doing the documentation they can manage their work within this particular board okay now once you have this these columns already you can add another column if you want to so you can see that i am getting this add another list so by default i am getting this this list and this is known as list basically by the way in uh, trello so a list is nothing but a workflow that the work items within your project are going to follow from start to finish right so if i talk about this documentation project so what tasks might be required to do the documentation of any of the software development activity that is happening so say for example uh, if there is any feature for which there is a knowledge base article that needs to be written then that needs to be added in a work item or in the to-do list right so say for example document kb for feature a i would say okay so say for example there is a feature a that is being developed then that is what the work item can be or that's what the card is all about okay so you can keep adding these work items there okay let me cancel that let me edit it i'll copy that and paste it here i'll add another card so let's say we have certain tasks to be done as part of this documentation project so we'll be adding the items there the card is nothing but the granular work item that needs to be completed as part of that pro project okay so document a knowledge base article for feature a and now this particular work item can be assigned to the person who needs to work on this right so you can simply click on it and then you can 
say members okay and in the member say for example you just add the members that need to basically collaborate on this okay so we add the members and once you add the members there so whosoever needs to work on that particular work item you can add single member or multiple team members if they need to collaborate and work then you can also add more members from here okay so here if you see on this particular detail here the board members I have added these members whom we had invited in the workspace right so these members I can also add from the workspace that we have in Trello instance to this particular board right so we can simply say let's add the existing members that we have into our board okay so all of these members that we have selected from the workspace have been added as part of this particular board so once the members have been added so at the moment you will see that all of these four people need to collaborate and work on it if you do not want them to be part you can basically click on that and icon and then remove from card okay so say for example this is only one person that needs to work just add one member and then close the card or uh, provide more details basically here so in the description we'll provide more details so say for example uh, document the KB article and uh, publish for review okay so something some description that will help the person to understand what exactly is the work item and what needs to be done okay then the right hand side you have this labels which is very important so label you can label the items the work items based on different color coding and you can also create new labels so say for example i can generate a label okay and i can simply edit it and i can specify the name of the label okay so say for example i know that this is this task is the documentation task so i can say documentation and save it right so you will see the documentation table or documentation label has been saved here okay similarly i can create other labels as well and use those into the work item or the cards that will be created okay so this is about label then you have this checklist which is very important so checklist what exactly it does is it is something say for example this particular work item requires a lot of different tasks that need to be completed then we can create a checklist so we, we can say tasks to be completed and add the checklist here okay so we can say task to be completed and add the checklist and now in the items we can start typing in the checklist so we can say task one add and then task two okay so say for example this particular work item item the documentation needs to have all of these tasks to be completed only then you can say that this is something which has been completed right so now at the task level as well i can specify that this particular task needs to be assigned to a particular member right but this is only available in the premium feature so it is not available to the free users okay so in this particular case we can't do it do that unless until we start the free trial for the premium but this is good enough for us to add the checklist and say for example once the person whosoever is working on this has the work item completed so they can say yes this task is done and you will see the automatic marker or the timeline or the progress of the overall work item will be updated so once the two items have been completed or four 50 percent of the task has been done okay so this is what the checklist is all about then in the dates we can specify that this particular task needs to be completed by a of October okay and you can also specify the start date so then you can specify the reminder so when do you want the reminder to be so one day before okay and we can save that there is a due date on this particular card item then in the attachment I can attach the screenshot or any other details basically say for example I want to add some screenshot or the logs anything we can attach from computer and from other integrations that are available as well as well so for, for example Google Drive or Dropbox I can attach directly or provide the link to attach any of the screenshots or videos into this particular task okay then in the cover you will see that let's say I want to change the cover okay so this will change the cover of this particular task okay so say for example we can change to this or say for example this one and this will update the cover for this particular task and we can save that okay so this is 
is about some of the details or some of the options that are available at the task level that you can do within Trello. Then there are more details around the power ups and automation, which we'll cover in a separate tutorial because that's a advanced or more detailed topic. Okay. Then in the activity, if you see what all has been performed on this particular task, you will see the, all the activity available here at the bottom in the actions, you can move copy or make template. Watch is very important because if you say watch, then any activity that happens on this particular work item you will be able to get notification if you uncheck that so at the moment i'll be able to get notifications if i uncheck that then any activity that happens on this task we won't be notified or the person who has unchecked that that won't be able to, won't be notified then you can archive and share this particular task as well okay so once you click on share you can print or you can export json format or you can embed this card or you can email this card to the person as well okay so these are some of the details details around the task. So once you are done with defining the task, you can simply save it and you'll see all of the details have been saved here. And now a person who needs to work on this task can start working on it. And once they complete the work or they start the work, they can move it to the next stage, which is doing right. And once the work has been completed, they can simply update this particular task and they can say all of the four tasks have been completed. Now I have just mentioned task one, two, three, four, but they, this will be actual work item you will describe what exactly the task is all about right similarly document knowledge base for feature you will describe actually what what will be the details within this task okay so once the work has been done then they'll update everything and then move it to done right so this is how the tasks will move from one state to another state on the first Trello board that we have created and the list that is there by default. So to do doing and done. This is the most basic workflow that you will be finding in any of the projects. So even with your personal tasks, say for example, you want to track, you can just specify the work item that you need to do. And then once you are doing those items, you can move it to doing and then you move it to done. And that's how you usually become more productive personally. And similar is the case for the projects, right? So unless until you have the workflow, you, you plan everything in the to do list and then you assign the work item to the appropriate team members and they start working on it, then you can see the overall progress very clearly on the Trello list. Okay, on the Trello list, if you want to update, say, for example, this, this is a default workflow to do doing done. This is very basic. I do not want this workflow, right? So in that particular case, what I can do is I can simply click here. Okay. And say, for example, I want to change this particular step to in progress. Okay. And then I want to have another status there in review right so once the person has done the work then the work needs work item needs to go to in review okay so first is in progress then in review and then done okay so in if that's the case then we added another column there in review okay and now the workflow has been updated from to do to in progress to in review and done okay so it is very easy for you to customize this workflow in trello just add another list item there it will add a column and you can see simply drag and drop these columns to customize the workflow as per the need of your project. Okay, so this is very basic introduction of the Trello board, how you will create your first board and then how you will update the default list or which is the workflow underlying the project work that you will be doing and also some of the details around the cards that you have. So card is the work item basically. So we have covered some of the details around the card and the details that you need to put in the card to make your work efficient and easy to manage within the team. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.